What is up folks, D'Angelo back again with another video for your brain cells and in today's tip we're going to talk about focus racking. Normally this is done by hand because of the speed and precision it takes to focus accurately, especially when there are complex camera moves happening at the same time. But some cameras can autofocus and control the focus themselves, leaving you free to do other things. However, it is not recommended for the vast majority of cameras just because they suck at autofocusing. If you haven't seen my video on what exactly autofocusing is, how to use it correctly, what cameras do it well, then you should check out the video in the description. I'm gonna leave it down there for you. I might even link it up in the top section for you, and it's also gonna be linked up in the video. So if you don't know, go on over there and learn something new. But back again to the topic at hand, focus racking looks cool to do, feels cool to do, and it will make a lasting impression on your viewers if you do it right. But that's all for this one. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and like it. Maybe even go ahead and share it to some of your friends so they can see it and they can learn something new too. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe so you can catch all the learning goodness that you can imagine. And you know, follow me. But until next time, my name's D'Angelo and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Keep shooting.